Hey everyone, I am Samiha Teredia. Today we are going to be creating a maze game in Scratch and we'll use custom blocks to make our code green. Before we start, huge shout out to Nitya Sarkar for following all my videos here on YouTube and my projects on the Scratch website. Thank you. Let's go. Alright, so first let's choose a backdrop. I'm going to choose a light one called Stripes. Okay, this looks good. Now for the maze, we can also draw a maze in Scratch. Just like this, but it would take a lot of work and time. So instead, we're going to upload a maze PNG file with a transparent background. This one looks good, so we're going to go to the website. And you can download it from here. I already have it downloaded, so I'm going to go to Scratch and upload it as a sprite. So here we have our maze. It's a little too small, so I'm going to reset its size to 190. Okay, and just position it on the screen. And for our maze, we are going to rename it. And just write a small script saying when green flag clicked, go to the particular position it is at right now. Next, let's do our cat. So it's a little too big, so I'm going to reset its size to 15. Alright, and position it below here in, on our maze. We're going to write a similar small script for our cat saying when green flag clicked, go to the particular position it is at right now. Next, let's block our maze so our player isn't able to cheat. So here I'm going to choose the eyedropper and select the blue color of the maze. And we're going to block this part of the maze. There. Now we cannot move outside and come all the way to our goal. Now from the goal, we need some kind of goal for our, for our cat. So I'm going to choose a sprite, let's say apple. So I'm going to resize, resize that as well to 20. And we're going to place it on the opposite side of the maze, which is up here. And we're going to write a similar code for it saying when green flag clicked, go to the particular position it is at right now. If you want to use the resources that I'm using in this project, I'll put the link to the project in the description box below and you can use the backpack to transfer it to your project. To know more about backpack, please check out the link on your screen or in the description box below. Alright, so now let's code the movement of our cat sprite. So for this, I'm going to get a forever loop from control and an if then condition. So we want to check if the right arrow key is pressed. So from sensing, we're going to get key space press and from drop, drop down, we're going to change it to right arrow. So if the right arrow key is pressed, we want to change X by four. So we're going to change X by four. Inside this if then condition, we're going to place another if then condition in which we're going to check if it's touching the maze, then we'll do the opposite, which is change x by negative four. So from sensing if touching mouse pointer, we're going to change it to maze, then we want to change x by negative four. So I'm just going to right click and duplicate these two if then conditions and place them below here. And we're going to change the right arrow to left arrow. So if the left arrow key is pressed, we want to change x by negative 4 this time. And if it's touching the maze, then we want to change x by 4. Here there's some duplication of code, so we can refactor it by making a custom block. So for my blocks, we're going to make a block and name it move x steps. Here we're going to add a parameter and name it steps. So let's hit OK. So to define it, I'm going to drag this code inside our if then condition and place it here. So we want to change x by steps. 
we can drag the parameter and place it here. And for negative 4, we are going to change x by 0 minus steps. 0 minus steps. So let's delete this code. And from our blocks, we're going to get and drag our block inside the if then condition. So when the right arrow key is pressed, we want to move x steps 4. And when the left arrow key is pressed, we want to move x steps negative 4. Now we want to make something similar for the y position. So let's make another block, this time saying move y steps. We're going to add another parameter and name it steps. And let's write a similar code for this. So we want to change y by steps. And if it's touching the maze, so if touching maze, then we want to change y by 0 minus steps by 0 minus steps. So we've defined our move y steps block. So from control, I'm going to get an if then condition. And if key up arrow is pressed, then we want to move y steps four. Now I'm going to duplicate this. If key down arrow is pressed, then we want to move y steps negative four. Now first let's test our movement out. All right, does not let me move past that. Great, so our movement is working fine. So here I've touched the apple, but nothing is really happening. That is because we don't have any code saying if touching apple. So I'm going to start another code with the same header block when green flag clicked. So now I'm going to get a forever loop and an if then condition. So we want to check if it is touching the apple. So if touching apple, then let's play a sound meow. So we are going to go to sound and play sound meow until done. And from events, we are going to broadcast a message saying you win. And then at the end, we want to stop all. Now we don't have any sprite reacting to this message. So let's paint a sprite with a text saying you win. I'm gonna make it green. So let's say you win. Just gonna make this bigger. Okay, so first of all, when green flag clicked, we want to go to the position it is at right now. And we want to hide this sprite. So we're gonna hide it. And from events, when I receive you win, we want to show it. All right, now just to make it more interesting, let's add some background music. I'm going to do this in the Apple. So from sounds, we're going to choose a sound. In the loops, there are various options you can choose from. This sounds good. So I've chosen dance energetic. I'm just going to make it. And from our code, we're going to go when green flag clicked, forever, play sound, dance energetic until done. So now let's test out our game. As we've seen, the game is working fine. Please like, share and subscribe. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to check out my Scratch playlist and follow me on my Insta at Samiha Bye-bye.